Welcome to Gidget Gadget. Today I'm going to demonstrate an inexpensive power supply that you can put together yourself for not a lot of money. This item I have in my hand is a switching regulator. You can pick these on eBay for about anywhere from $10 to $15 shipped. Uh, what it has is two displays. The top display will show you your, your voltage and your bottom display show the current. This particular regulator is a constant current, constant, constant voltage, which means you can set up the uh, current to a maximum and it won't go beyond that as well as the voltage. Right here I've uh, added two cables for the output and I added a plug so I can plug in various wall warts into this here. And speaking of wall warts, I picked up this wall wart at local thrift shop, $2.99, so you know the whole cost of this whole unit uh, be under $20 for sure. And uh, this particular regulator is rated at 5 amps but uh, I wouldn't run it at 5 amps. There's not a lot of surface area to dispel the heat. Uh, therefore, uh, I would say running at 3, 3.5 three would probably be your maximum you want to run it. You can test that yourself, but uh, I don't think I'd feel safe without putting in a larger heat sink. Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, I'll be connecting the uh, regulator to the power supply and uh, I'm going to illuminate this uh, LED strip. This is an 18 watt LED strip. So it's approximately 14 volts at 1.5 amps. Uh, we'll see about uh, how bright we can get this to go. Uh, also too, one other thing to point out about switching regulators, they're very efficient as opposed to a regular re regulator such as a, a 318, which is basically a variable resistance. This is not variable resistance. This uses high frequency in order to generate pulses and uh, produce your voltage. So without further ado, we'll plug this in and I'll show you exactly how to adjust it and what the sort of things we can do with it. So I'm going to simply just plug in the wall wart and as you can see the display lights up. Right now it's showing 3.63 volts at 0 amps because we do not have anything connected. Now this particular uh, LED I chosen uh, is around, we'll, we'll go around 12 volts. So on the top here you see two screws. The one on the left is for voltage and the one on the right is for current. So all we do, uh, we simply put the screwdriver in. Now this is not necessarily the best way to do it. You would like to have a insulated screwdriver but since I don't have one I just have to be very careful that I don't drop it inside. All right, so I'm turning clockwise and adjusting to the voltage that I want. Okay, a little more. Five volts. Six volts. And by the way, the uh, wall ward I chose is a 15 volt, so I can go all the way up to 15 volts and, and two amps of current for this particular wall ward. Here we go, 7, 8, 9, 10, coming up, 8. yeah, so lots of fun getting in that screw. You could later on change that to uh, potentiometers, and probably best to do 10 turn potentiometers, get a lot of fine adjustment. Okay, there's about 12 volts, 12.1. 12 on the nose. Okay, so now I'll plug the LED in. Negative to negative and positive to positive. And it's very bright right now. It dropped a little bit because uh, my current isn't up, so on the right hand side I can crank that up a bit. There we go. 0.4 amps, 5, 6, and as I keep cranking it gets brighter. What I'm doing is I'm adjusting the limit on the uh, constant current. There we go, 1 amp. That light is really bright, it's hard to see. Bring this up a little higher and more current. So as you can see it's quite versatile. You can really adjust everything, just finely adjust everything. These are great for uh, LEDs. 
there, 1.5, 1.52 at 12.5 volts, and that'll hold that all day long, no problem. It's a very nice signal coming out of it. Man, that LED is bright. So you can use this not only for LEDs, which is a great little uh, switching regulator for LEDs, but you can use it for any of your uh, applications, experimenting, building circuits, uh, charging batteries, for instance. All sorts of uh, things you can do with this without having to spend hundreds of dollars on a experimenter's power supply or professional power supply. So uh, there you have it. For under $20, you have a power supply that uh, will power pretty well anything you require. Up to approximately uh, 5 amps as stated by the uh, specifications. Thanks for watching. See you soon.